Good afternoon, Colouring Your Life fans around the world. My name's Natasha and I'm working with the amazing Graham Stevenson from Colouring Your Life. And today we're interviewing Shazia, who has had huge successes since his, the filming of her Colouring Your Life show. And uh, we're going to learn a bit more about what led to those successes, what she's doing now and, uh, and all, all the fabulousness that Shazia is. So I'll let Graham talk a little bit more about Shazia because they've got a better relationship. So go ahead, Sir Graham. Yeah, thanks, Nat. And thank you so much, Shazia, for your time. I mean, I met Shazia five years ago in her home studio in Sydney and, and had an amazing day with her. But since then, I mean, this, this young lady is literally a marketing whiz as far as I'm concerned and has a background in that as well, apart, apart from her amazing art. But just a few of the things that Shazia has done is she's a multiple award winner in Australia. She's the winner of the Lorenzo Il Magnifico Award in Florence Biennale in 2015, Florence City. Winner of the Most Collectible Artist Award in Shenzhen City Art Fair in China. Award winner of London Art Biennale 2017. First prize winner in the 2018 Tian Kiano Biennale. Uh, London Biennale 2019. And she was a Confederation of Art Critics Award second prize. It's like, my God, <laughs> talk about sky, talk about go skyrocketing. <laughs> It's just, it's just amazing. So how has, how has the journey been for you since we filmed you five years ago? Oh, it's been um, kind of a, I can say that it's been a roller coaster of events happening. I think when you uh, reported me in August uh, 2013 and the show went um, on air in October, 3rd of October, as far as I remember, and it's been crazy literally my life has been really really amazing to an extent that um, I was working in digital marketing as uh, you are aware I had to leave my job because my art career was just skyrocketing and um, and that's what I love and I remember when you spoke to me first time you did say to me welcome to becoming a full-time artist at that time I thought oh no 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 <laughs> that's not going to happen but it did eventually it did happen and I actually initially thought I'm going to take 12 months off um, from my job and I'm going to do this for uh, full time for a year and then I'll go back to my job. But it's been two years now and I've never ever looked back. And uh, during that time, like I've done, it seems like a lifetime, but uh, it's been really, really amazing journey, I guess. It's, it's incredible. I mean, so how did you initially use that to initiate any of these other processes that came along for you? Oh, yes, I'm still using it. Um, it's been like um, the show was one of the best marketing tools I've ever used. Yeah. Um, and I can show you that um, I'm still using it. So these are my um, brochures. That's my catalog. Oh, so wow. Whenever whenever I actually take any marketing material, you are there, Bram. <laughs> My <laughs> and I've done the Videsh Akinambri show. I put it on um, the TV screen over there as well. And people are so much interested. And you are already known in Hong Kong because you are on my screens all the time. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. But it's been like a, I shouldn't say meteoric rise because you really have worked hard. And you're, I mean, with, with your style, I mean, how did you, you, you must have known that there was something within these competitions that you were going into. Um, did you literally realize that there was a, a style that you had to do or you're just following your own instinct about the way that you produced your work? No, no, no. I just followed because for, for me, design was for others and art is for me. So mm -hmm. that's my expression. And uh, it re just resonated with people as well. And especially, you know, with the awards and the international awards, it was amazing. It actually just gives you a bit of a stamp on, you know, that what you're doing is um, uh, being appreciated by, you know, all over the world uh, with um, different organizations as well. So which gives you a lot of confidence, I guess. Uh, but no, I, I just do my own thing. Like, you know, I, um, because Australia is a multicultural country and I just, my, my um, main theme is mandala which basically represents universe and uh, connections with people and human beings. And I travel a lot now. So I connect with people all over the world and it's been amazing, amazing journey for me. So that's exactly what I represent. And I think that's what uh, people see in my work as well. Because I watch you on Facebook and it's sort of like she's in China and today, oh, she's in Italy. Oh, hang on, she's <laughs> so I can't keep up with her. I thought I traveled a lot until I saw what you were doing. It's obviously changed your family's life a great deal as well, if that's the case. 
Oh uh, yeah, I have a very very supportive uh, husband and kids. Uh, so yeah, they they've been on this journey and they've been amazing. I I couldn't have done it without my husband's support. Mm. So yeah, they they've been really amazing. That's amazing. So and we're we're going to be seeing each other in Hong Kong in October. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> That's amazing, amazing experience. Um, I'm sure you know a lot of people will um, um know that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that show is one of the shows. I think um, I mean apart from Color in Your Life, I think the, uh, Asia Contemporary was one of the bre- breakthrough or milestones in my career as well. In 2016 September, that was my first show, and my life changed basically after that show. I've been selected by a gallery in Hong Kong uh, who are auctioneers as well. So they are now selling my work as an investment over there. And my work is really sought after to an extent that, you know, I have sell out shows so many, like I'm going to the seventh show now. So it's been a really amazing journey for me. Wow, it's just, I mean, just, just to hear that, I mean, it's so encouraging. Mm-hmm. The fact that there, you're a young woman that had a dream, you know, six six years ago, and you said, you know, I, I, I knew the moment that I met you that you, you were going to do this. There was no two ways about it, particularly with your background and who you are as an individual. But, you know, is this is this something, and we, we talk to a lot of people, I think that you're probably the pinnacle of of, the, of success as far as we're concerned in, in getting to where you really want to go as a professional artist. But is this something that you would recommend for other people to do? Look, definitely, I would. Um, what I would suggest um, uh, for other uh, young artists, and older artists as well, like there's no time for that, um, you know, to get, get into that. But what I did was, I'll share you some of my experiences, is that I took it as a business. Mm-hmm. Um, although it was my passion, but I took it as a business. I actually spent on marketing. Color in Your Life was one of the, the marketing tools I've used and very successful ones. I've done a lot of other, I've taken a lot of other steps as well which actually helped me because when you think it's your hobby, yeah, you, you can't spend money because in any business you have to invest. You yeah. have to invest your money, your time, your effort, everything. And then it actually gives you some results. Um, I mean, luckily I was from digital and marketing field myself. So I've actually employed some of the techniques myself to promote me overseas and in Australia as well. So that helped a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so you take it as a business and keep, trying you know that's what i would say like you know don't there were times in my life um, from past five years as well like where i thought oh okay, what am i doing <laughs> you know but then something amazing happens and then you kind of like oh yeah i love it <laughs> yeah fantastic and yeah and you've actually found which is what every artist probably wants in their career is that your prices have gone up exponentially as well in that period of time now i don't specifically want to discuss prices because i don't think that that would be appropriate but in a percentage value, they have gone up quite a lot, haven't they? Oops. Uh, yeah, I can't even know how much <laughs> hundreds of percent they've gone up. But I think uh, partly it was because um, my work was really sought after in Hong Kong. And, um, and I could not produce that much um, because it takes a lot of time, to, especially with my string pieces, um, which are uh, award-winning pieces. That collection was actually received very well in Hong Kong and other parts of the world. And um, so the gallery helped me, you know, raising my profile as well. And um, yeah, so, so that's what happened. And now there is a waiting list for my work again. Uh, it's, it's been crazy, <laughs> really so, crazy. So that, how, how do you keep up with the demand? I mean, you obviously have to have a fairly regimented um, time schedule to do this. So um, I worked as a project manager, web project manager in my life as well, previous life. So that actually helped a lot because then I have to organize myself. Um, and there was a point where I was actually working sort of part-time as well. And I was uh, working as a full-time artist and um, being organized, that helps a lot. And then I'm, because I'm doing a lot of shows and it's, it depends on, you know, what's coming up. So I actually sort of, you know, work towards it. Uh, but saying that I, yeah, I have to actually organize my time. Mm-hmm. properly. Yeah. Fantastic. So I suppose the end result is, um, is it, is it worth the money to do this with us? Was it worth oh, it? yes, definitely. No doubt about it. Because I remember when um, you invited me to you know, for the show um, and um, some people, some friends of mine, they were like, oh, you know, it's so much money. But um, one thing I can share, I don't know, I have actually shared with you. When you and Sophia came to my um, a studio and you spent all day and then you, you did amazing job and then you went back 
And I think Sophia spent one week on editing and stuff. So I was like, you know, how amazing are these? And I, I heard the story about your friends as well, why you started this show. So I really appreciated that. And I, we are lucky to actually have you um, doing this for us. And I actually made my money in three workshops. <laughs> so I did, did uh, like organize some workshops um, afterwards. And yeah, it, it was like, you know, just like this. <laughs> it was yeah. And as, as the thing that I say to people is that if you take out a magazine out, it's there for a month. You're, you're still using this six years later. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But w what my suggestion to people who are still thinking about it is like, you know, work on a strategy where you want to be. So the way I work is like I work on 12 month strategy. I work on five year and 10 year as well, where I want to be in 10 years and, and which makes you making decision making easy. Um, and if you're spending money on some marketing uh, activities, it actually justifies as well. And don't try to actually um, uh, make your money back very quickly because some of some artists have seen like, you know, in the shows and um, other venues as well, they try to make immediate sales and they, if, they are, if they can't do that, they, they are really devastated. It's not about that. It's so much more than that. Because if you have a strategy, if you create some objectives and goals for yourself, it make, makes it easy and you can measure it as well. So, you know, yeah. So that's how I've done it in the past as well. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, is there any questions that you'd like to ask, Shazia? Oh, so many. Ah. I, I, I would like to know, are you, is your studio in Sydney? Yes, yes, I'm based in Sydney, yeah. So every time you need to paint, you have to fly back to Sydney or can you, do you take your artwork all over the world with you and paint? Uh, I've done some demos overseas, especially in Konga, in Asia, and usually I am always uh, doing some demos and stuff. So um, I've done that. But but Sydney is home and I have to come back home. Of course, my family um, is here. So I usually come back and do sort of, you know, work here and then, you know, take it wherever in the world I'm going. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time today, Shazia. I don't, I don't want to sort of take too much of it because I know that you're obviously very busy. Um, I'm going to be seeing you in Hong Kong in, in October. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I've had some great conversations with Mark. And um, he's very, very excited to get us over there. I think he sees the value of what we're doing as well, uh, which, is, which is wonderful. And, and that's, that's, the, that's the amazing part, part about it. It's those synergies. Of that was unexpected. And it's like, okay, because you've been successful in what you do, you've now introduced us to other people. That, 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 and that's going to continue. And I think that's a big part of this is passing that legacy and that knowledge along to other people so that they can also be a part and parcel of what you're doing. Exactly, exactly. And I, and another last thing I want to say is like, you know, to other artists that don't um, be afraid to share your successes with, with your friends and with other people. Like I've actually sort of started um, uh, AAD Gallery uh, recently where I ex exhibit other people's work because my work has gone uh, quite expensive. So, you know, I want to sort of, you know, give that platform or my exposure to other people as well. So we, we've been doing some um, exhibitions in Hong Kong, in uh, Shenzhen, New York, and other parts of the world that we are going to Melbourne soon. So um, Affordable Art Fair Melbourne. So um, it, it, it's just like, you know, I want to share my experiences um, with other people as well. It does not affect me. Mm -hmm. it, if I help other people, giving them some suggestions, some sort of guidance, you know, it always gives me more uh, exposure and pleasure. And we are such a great uh, artist community. Um, we are so lucky to have each other. Like, you know, I have friends all over the world now, which I'm really, really grateful and, um, you know, I really mm -hmm. enjoy this aspect. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you. So, so, thank you so much for your time today. It's been absolutely amazing. And I think a lot of the people across the world will get a great deal out of this as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Shazia. Thanks for your time today, Shazia, and uh, we'll see you more online. And good luck in Hong Kong. I hope it goes brilliantly for you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, honey.